Good morning, and welcome to this uh, weather update on l last night's just historic uh, flooding uh, in our area, and uh, incredible. Uh, before I get to the storm totals, we're going to talk about what's going on with public transportation right now. Let's uh, do that. Uh, and uh, right now, railroads, let's take a look. We still have uh, uh, the subways are a huge, huge mess still. A uh, huge mess of very limited service on the subway. Um, suspended parts, suspended uh, delays, and it's all that water getting into the subway caused a lot of damage. Uh, a lot of damage. Uh, rail on the rail side, we have uh, delays uh, on most lines. Some some cancellations, some service changes. Uh, uh, Eight thirty six from Port Jefferson at, at nine forty six canceled. Uh, uh, so that that train was canceled. Um, you have uh, delays. We're on Conkoma line. Uh, delays. You have delays. Some cancellations. Metro North still suspended. Uh, you got to remember they got even more rain than we did uh, over there, uh, and uh, they probably have a tremendous amount of flooding as well. Uh, there is a suspended on Far Rockaway and Port Washington right now. Suspended on Far Rockaway and Port Washington right now. All right. Bus, well, we don't know. They don't really have a general update on buses. Uh, NJ Transits. Uh, let's go to NJ Transits. Uh, all NJ Transit rail remains suspended. Um, the buses are operating with delays and some cancellations and extensive detours right now. So, of course, you know, here's the irony of it. We have a beautiful day in New Jersey right now. And... Uh, <laughs> You know, maybe to go to the Pine Barrens there, but after this, this see, it's going to be a huge amount. That's the irony of it. Uh, looking at train time right now, um, we have trains running. We have we have trains running right now, um, uh, with some delays, uh, but nothing nothing terrible. At least looking here in Mineola. Um, uh, we can look at some other stations here, uh, like Lindbrook. Uh, and uh, it looks like uh, we have some. Um, it looks like everything seems to be running fairly close to schedule. All right. Uh, nice bus. Let's go to nice bus now. And we'll get to the power outage situation too, uh, as well. Nice bus. Uh, let's see. Do they have any alerts here? No, nothing really listed for them. I'm sure just delays and stuff like that. Power outages. We're down to 5,363 on Long Island, which isn't really too bad. Uh, they've, they've gotten rid of most of the larger outages, and now they're working on the smaller ones. Uh, let's go to poweroutage.us here so we can look and see the latest here. And New Jersey is still 60,000 people without power in New Jersey, and mostly in the, in the northern parts of the state and the central parts of the state. Somerset, 6, 000, over 6,000 more. Over 8,000. Essex, over 14,000. Bergen, over 4,000. Uh, Sussex uh, has a lot. Sussex, Warren, Hunterdon. Uh, Sussex, Warren, and Hunterdon. Particularly hardest hit. Gloucester. Um, and that's looking at New Jersey. Looking at the rest of New York State. Uh, you could see uh, Putnam and Westchester. And uh, yeah, Westchester, the hardest hit. With over 17,000 right now. Without power, Connecticut, we have 16,000 without power. And uh, you have some outages in Fairfield, Middlesex. Um, but the hardest hit with the power outages is definitely New Jersey at this point. Uh, Pennsylvania also, still 98,000, over 98,000 people without power. Montgomery County, hardest hit. Uh, so quite a, a just a historic storm. And uh, if you go and you look at the news, uh, unfortunately, a lot, uh, a number of people have died. Thirteen people have died. People, some people trapped in their cars. Uh, there is one case where people drowned in their apartments, in their basement apartments. So this is uh, just tragic. Uh, what has happened in New York City right now? Um, let's go and take a look at uh, the uh, weather service now, and we'll look at some of these storm total rainfalls uh, that have been listed right now. And you can see here. I mean, Connecticut's got soaked. Stamford, 6.91. Uh, Bridgeport Airport, 5.94. Um, Middlesex County, Connecticut, 6.95. New Haven County, Milford, 6.50. Uh, 
New London County, Norwich, 7.48. So it wasn't just, you know, Connecticut also got involved in this. And look at New Jersey. Waldwick, 8.59. Hasbrook Heights, 8.01. New Milford, 7.28. Tenafly, 7.26. You know, this is incredible. Paramus, 6.72 inches of rain. Uh, Mawa, 3.88 inches of rain. Essex County, Newark, 8.44. And a lot of these, these are shattered all-time daily records. Maplewood, 8.16. I mean, this is two months' worth of rain in one night. Essex Fells, 7.08 inches. West Caldwell, 6.57 inches. Harrison in Hudson County, 8.61 inches. Passaic County, uh, in Passaic, 8.43. Clifton, 6.87 Linden, 6.72. In the Bronx, Fordham, 7.38. In Brooklyn, 7.76. The high amount there. Nassau County. See, Long Island doesn't seem so bad, right? Glenhead, 4.87. Worcester Bay, 4.80. East Hills, 4.46. Valley Stream, a little less on the South Shore, with only 2.78. Midtown Manhattan, 7.49. Central Park, 7.19. Battery Park, 4.56. In uh, Orange County, too. Vales Gate, 5.74. Flushing, 6.90. LaGuardia, 6.89. Kew Gardens Hills, 7, 5.77. Staten Island, look at the Staten Island, 8.92 inches of rain. College of Staten Island, 8.31. This is incredible. Uh, Rockland County suffering 5.03, and yes, there are some areas of Suffolk that also got pounded. Uh, East Setauk at 6.86, Miller Place 6.69, Center Reach 6.63. Well, I guess some parts of Long Island didn't get too off that easy. Miller Place 6.14, Stony Brook 6.03, St. James 5.02. Stony Brook gets a little less as you head a little further out east, 3.77. Uh, but these are some really high amounts. Uh, a little less toward the south shore, West Islip, with only 2.15, and I, I quote unquote only. Look at Westchester County, Mount Kisco, 8.46, New Rochelle, 7.79. Oh, my God. I mean, Armonk, 6.78. These are just some incredible, incredible numbers that we are dealing with, incredible numbers uh, that... that uh, uh, it's just un- unbelievable what has happened. It, it, it truly is unbelievable what's happened. And this doesn't include the flash flood reports uh, that uh, that there are plenty of. In addition to all this, you have plenty of flash flood reporting as well, uh, fl- uh, storm reports that we're going to have to look at as well. Um, let's see if we got the, uh, let's go with the uh, uh, public information statement. Actually, I think it's the local storm report that would indicate the flooding. Uh, here we go. Flash flooding. And there's just going to be so many of these. Uh, flooding in basement in Bronx. Water three feet deep. Uh, just so many of these. I, I wish they'd have a summary of them. Central Park Avenue in Hartsdale closed. Uh, bridge at Westmore Gardens knocked off foundation. Flooding at the 28th 7th Avenue station in su- on the subway. Water flooding in basements in many homes in Staten Island. Entire ground floor of apartment building flooded in New Haven. Um, tree down on Northern State Parkway. Uh, so this is just just a small example of uh, of what of what what has happened. All right, and of course then there's some areas that uh, are covered by Mount Holly, uh, which also managed to get a lot of rain too. And I'm not even gonna look at. I'm not even gonna look at that right now. It looks like Mount Holly's observation thing is not even working right now. Uh, so that is, uh, it's just, this is, this is, we witnessed a historic disaster last night. Uh, let's, uh, let me go to the rivers and lakes. We already have this up here, I think. So I already have it preloaded so you can get an idea of what's going on here because, uh, we are definitely have some, uh, a lot of these are in purple right now. Uh, so if we pull this out, let's be able to see this. Hopefully I'm going to move this over and you should be able to see the hydrograph. On the right side of the screen, hopefully, um, uh, there, there. That's the Bronx River right there. Look at that. Oh, the, the, the way up, way at 12 feet. I mean, these are all in severe flood stage. Hackensack River. 
Uh, all these are in severe flood stage. Uh, all these rivers, and some of them are in major flood stage. This is the Rahway River, uh, another Rahway River. Um, uh, this is this is incredible here. Passaic River. All these rivers are in flood stage. Pompton Plains. Uh, we even have this river here, the Swimming River at Red Bank, uh, up a little higher. Uh, Tom's River not. The Tom's River is not affected right now by this uh but it may keep it may this is all gonna work its way south so i think it's gonna eventually work its way into southern jersey all this water eventually look at this millstone river 20 not 24 feet and the river's normally at four feet all right so uh, give you an idea there uh, of how high these rivers are uh you know it's just incredible to see and connecticut too of course if i move this over we have some in Connecticut, too, that are affected as well. Uh, you see those red dots there. That's where uh, that's where you have the flooding on these rivers. So, uh, and again, some of these, let's see, nor y y y the Yantic River is uh, in major flood, in a, ma a moderate flood stage right now. Or is that major? Let's see. No, it's in major flood stage now. Uh, Will Willimantic River in minor flood stage, but it's heading toward moderate. Uh North Branch, all these rivers are overflowing right now. Quinnip Quinnipiac, uh, La Housatanic, uh, they are all overflowing substantially. So uh, we have 100 gauges now in flood uh, in this area. So that, that's incredible to see. And like I said, this is a historic disaster uh, that uh, will def definitely the costliest disaster since Sandy impacted our area. So, of course, we'll have more for you later. Take care.